new proposal could help parents track what their children are reading in school. It's the latest effort in a battle over which books should be on library shelves in Texas. Our Nick Starling joins us now live in our studio. Nick, we've seen this battle playing out in local school districts, but now it's expanding. Hey, Karen, that's right. The Texas legislature is trying to take action on this topic, too. We're talking about Senate Bill 13 from McKinney Senator Angela Paxson. This would let parents receive a notice each time their child obtains school library materials, prohibit the possession or retention of, quote, harmful and decent materials, and create local councils to help districts ensure what they call community values are reflected in each school library catalog in the district. Under this bill, school boards would have to approve all new library materials and publicly release them 30 days before getting the materials. This bill would also create local library advisory councils of five members. Those for this bill say it would provide transparency and ensure the books in the libraries are appropriate for children. However, those against this bill have concerns over the logistics and would delay getting new books. There's also worry that it would push librarians out of the job. This bill passed the Senate and still has to go through the House first before it hits the governor's desk. We'll send things back over to you, Karen. All right, Nick. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks so much.